What's up everybody, it's your boy else. Hope everybody's doing well today. This video is gonna be a little bit different. This is gonna be a part two of a video I did from December, which I talked about some of my autographs I've collected. Autogra autographs today are about the Royals. So basically how this video is gonna work is, I'm gonna show you the autograph photo or baseball, and then I'm gonna talk a story, I'm gonna talk about the story of how I got it, and that's gonna be the video. I can go on for about an hour, but this video should not last too long. But I first want to say thank you to all my new subscribers that have been that have just received. I appreciate you so much. And to the people that have been here, hope everybody's doing well. And thank you again for all the support. So the first autograph I'm gonna go over is Salvador Perez. I got him twice. So the first time is when me, the BDKC and baseball road trip for all decided to go to a baseball game. Um, we all talk online, we're like, hey, let's go to a baseball game. Baseball road tripper is in town, he's from Minnesota. Well, like, hey, let's go, let's go see the Orioles and Royals. So we went, did BP, did all that stuff. The BDKC actually vlogged this. So if you want to go to his channel and see what happened, please check him out. His channel is amazing. Also, Baseball Road Tripper has it too. But anyways, let me get on to the story. So basically what happens is we go to the game, have fun, whatever, whatever. So at the end of the game, we're like, hey, let's stay for some autographs. You know, you, you never know what you're gonna get. I brought some baseballs, I brought some pictures with me. Let's stay for some autographs. So me and the BDKC stayed, and we were not having any luck. Players were just denying people left and right. There's players that necessarily didn't even need. So that's just what happened. I saw this kid standing with his mom. They're kind of by themselves. I was like, hey, hey, BDKC, let's go over there. So we walked over there. It was just us, this kid and his mom. And everybody was walking out towards the end of the night, end of like when the player, all the players leave. Salvi's kind of one of the last players to leave. He just takes his time. Uh, I assume it's probably ice bass because, you know, he'd be a catcher. Anyways, I don't know what they're doing. So anyway, Salvi was one of the last ones to leave. The kid, when he came, so Salvi went through the tunnel. I'll get to that part. So Salvi went through the tunnel. The Royals players go through the tunnel. If they don't want to interact with people, they just go through the tunnel. So Salvi's going through the tunnel. He was one of the last ones to leave, and um, this kid was like, hey, Salvi, Sal, we were just the only ones over there. It was the only three of us, four of us, because of his mom, and basically what happens is Salvi walks over, takes a picture with the kid. He saw my photo and, like, gave me the gesture, and I handed it to him. He signed it. He signed the baseball for the BDKC. It's all caught on film. I could not believe it. We caught some baseballs, and we got Salvi's autograph. It was just amazing. The second time I got him was just this past, with, like, a week ago. Um, I got him on a baseball. And so basically, I was going after, I think I was trying to get an umpire, because I get umpire autographs, as you saw in my first video. And I was like, okay, let me see if I can get some umpires. The umpires leave at a different gate. I don't know where they come leave now. So we'll see on that one. I'm going to try to find where they leave, but I have no idea. But I digress. So um, anyways, I was waiting. All the players have left. Salvi again was one of the last ones. And so I saw his car. Because he drives two different vehicles. You know, you start getting to know these players' cars when they, you know, you go there a lot. You try to get autographs. You're like, oh, it's that someone to that left. But anyways, he was leaving. It was about eight of us. And somebody convinced him to sign. And so he's like, I'll sign one thing for everybody. I had a ball ready to go. He signed my ball. Sweet spotted it for me. I was just ecstatic. So that's the two ways I've got Salvia. He's really hard to get. Some people have him a lot more than others. He most of the time will sign out of town, so you may be able to catch him out there, but I was just ecstatic for getting him on the picture and the ball. The second one I'm going to go over is Scott Barlow. Scott Barlow is one of the nicest players. I got this autograph on opening day, so basically what happened was we're waiting. I was waiting after for opening day to see if any players would come out because I didn't catch him arriving. I didn't get there early enough. And so, you know, it was freezing, raining, just all the weather wasn't good. You know, they're kind of taking their time leaving. I think they all got like gifts or something from Rob Manfred, but I digress. So Scott was coming out. Of course, I say, what's up? You know, I was like, what's up, Scotty? How's it going? He walked on now and I showed him this awesome picture as I show here on the screen. He signed it for me. No problem. Scott's probably one of the nicest people you can ever meet. I, I am so glad he's a Royal, but if he ever gets traded, I'll be a fan of whatever team he is on, except the Cardinals. That just won't happen. But that's for another day. But anyways, he signed this autograph photo for me. I was so excited. And so I really like this photo. I think it looks cool. I color graded it a little bit to make it look a little bit different. But 
it was just awesome photos when they were in the all white uniform. So, and he just the way they took the picture just looks badass. Um, the third one I'm gonna go over is Nikki Lopez. My there is between Scott Barlow and Nikki Lopez as being my favorite players on the Royals. Um, I've got Nikki several times. I got him on a baseball, which I'll show right here, and I also got him on a photo. He signed several photos for me. This one was on opening day. No, I think it was the day after opening day, actually. I think it was like a Thursday or something. It was a morning game. And Nikki was driving, they're driving up on these carts. So they had like carts. I think it was a Sunday morning, actually. And so the players, kind of where they park, they have like carts for them to like drive up. And they have like a cart that will take them up to the stadium to where they need to get out. So that way they don't have to walk. I know, life of a major leaguer. Nikki was one that stopped. He got off the cart, signed for everybody. It was only about five of us there. He signed for all of us, and it was just, I was like, wow, this guy is amazing. So he signed his photo for me, and he signed the baseball was a while back. I think he signed that baseball. I honestly do not remember, but it was just awesome getting his autograph. He always stops. He's always just very pleasant to talk to. Super cool guy. I couldn't be more happy for him to have some success last year. I just wish him more success this year. It's a little bit of a slow start for a lot of the players, but I think he'll come out of it. He has a lot of talent. Uh, the next one I want to go over, I think it's the fourth, is Alex Gordon. So with this story, Alex was there doing like a Royals charity night. Um, it was last April. I can remember this day. They were playing the Angels. I think it was like my third game of the season. I couldn't believe I'd been to so many games. He was sitting in left field in like the club area. Um, the Hall of Fame is what they call it. And just chilling. Nobody walked up to him. Nobody bothered him. And I was like, you know, I was like, you know, I was kind of playing on asking because he was with his family. But I was like, you know what? The worst thing you can say is no. So I walked over there and said, hey, how's retirement? He's like, it's good. I was like, would you mind signing this baseball? And he signed it. Sweet spotted it. I mean, I don't think Alex is asked very much for autographs anymore, so he signed. This was my first time ever getting him. I got him after he retired, which is even more funny. I'm like, what? He retired, and I finally got him. I got him again on opening day. Um, it was cold, and so the signature is a little wonky, but it's still awesome, and I don't care. It just cracks me up. And then the last one I'm going to go over um, is Kyle Zimmer. Kyle Zimmer got traded to the Reds, so he's in the Reds organization now. And it was the last game of the 2021 season. Uh, the Royals were playing the Twins. So usually in the last game of the season, you can get either like hats, bats, gloves. Players will give away jerseys. It just really depends on what the player, what the player is. So or who the player is. And so I was like, I looked up. I was like, oh, Kyle Zimmer. Let me ask him. So I was like, hey, Kyle, would you mind? You know, can I get your hat? He was like, sure. Gave it right to me. So would you mind sending this photo? I had the photo ready. He signed it for me. He, uh, I'll show you the hat right here. It was a game used MOB hat. You know, stuff like that goes for some money. And then he signed this photo. No hesitation. He has an awesome signature. Unfortunately, he got traded to the Reds. I was like, oh, cool. I'm about to get to know a player. Got traded. I wish him max success on it. But that's kind of how I got my first hat in my MLB collection. Um, I've gotten some lino cards this year, which I'll show in another video. My goal is to get a bat next. That's kind of what I'm shooting for. Haven't gotten a bat or batting gloves. That's kind of the next thing I want. Even possibly a glove. You never know. Some players replace their gloves every year. If they're going to get really old. You never know. We'll see what happens. But anyways, that is the video. Um, I, all these autographs, all the autographs I get, I love. It's just fun to chase and, you know, get a player to sign something for you. I will do a giveaway very soon on one of these autographs. I know I got another giveaway I got to pay up on, so I didn't forget. Um, if you watch my past DoorDash videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love making these. I love collecting stuff and just seeing how to get it. Um, I got some tips and tricks on how to get autographs at Kaufman, so if you ever want to hear that, comment below. But besides that, thank you so much again for watching. I'll talk to y'all soon, and have a good one.